Good evening. You are watching the news from the Sultanate of Oman Television. First, the headlines. The International Labour Organization praises the continuous role played by the General Federation of Oman Trade Unions in protecting the manpower rights. The 10th Oil Spell Response Officers Regional Meeting discusses national emergency plans to deal with oil and chemical pollution accidents. And more than 50 organizations from public and private sectors provide training and job opportunities for Omani graduate students. Those were the headlines now for the news in detail. The International Labour Organization praised the continuous role played by the General Federation of Oman Trade Unions in protecting the rights of manpower. This came in the second conference of the Oman Trade Unions, which was held to elect the chairman and members of the administration of the Oman Trade Unions. The conference was presided over by His Excellency Dr. Yahya bin Mahfoud al Manbari, Chairman of the State Council. The number of labor unions in the Sultanate reached 261 in various sectors. It's worth mentioning that the General Federation of Oman Trade Unions, Ministry of Manpower, and Oman Chamber of Commerce and Industry are three parties that represent the national manpower and work accordingly to the plans prepared for the labor movement. The 10th Oil Spell Response Officers Regional Meeting discussed issues related to dealing with national emergency plans to deal with the oil and chemical pollution accidents. The meeting also focused on the steps taken to issue regulations of environment evaluation, rehabilitation, as well as procedures to stop the ships that violate the rules. It also reviewed the national plans to combat oil and chemical pollution in addition to ensure the preparedness of equipment in the marine environment. The Arab Interparliamentary Union at the end of its 29th conference in Jordan hailed the Sultanate's role in solving disputes in the region through peaceful dialogue. It also stressed on the necessity to enhance cooperation in terms of facing challenges and unifying efforts to support the Arab issues on top of which is the Palestinian cause. The Sultanah's delegation was headed by His Excellency Khalid bin Hilal al-Mawali, Chairman of the Shura Council. And the International Society of Antioxidant in Nutrition and Health in the Middle East organized its 21st Redux Congress in Sultan Qaboos University. More than 30 research papers were delivered as the event attracted 39 speakers from 24 countries. The Redux Congress focused on important aspects in nutrition and health such as oxidative stress and antioxidants as well as food waste valorization processes. The International Society of Antioxidant in Nutrition and Health in the Middle East aims at consolidating the efforts of all stakeholders in antioxidant fields such as scientists, physicians, nutritionists, as well as stakeholders from pharmaceuticals, food and cosmetic industries. The Career and Training Fair 2019 is open today at Sultan Qaboos University, SQU, with the participation of 55 organizations from public and private sectors. The 20th Fair is organized in an attempt by SQU to consolidate its relations with the different sectors of the business and help marketing its graduates, in addition to familiarizing the labor sector of the university's various academic programs and providing an opportunity for participating institutions to know the academic level and the skills and abilities of students and graduates of Sultan Qaboos University. 
The institutions offer more than 185 job opportunities as well as 446 training opportunities for university students. The fair was held under the patronage of His Excellency Sayyid Saud bin Hilal al Busaidi, Minister of State and Governor of Muscat. Still to come on News Bulletin. Oman Traditional Music Center celebrates inaugurating of postage stamps of Omani music arts and instruments. Why is competition good for businesses? Businesses compete in things like price, quality and service to win new customers who could be other businesses as well as consumers. Being competitive can mean more customers choose you rather than your rivals. But when businesses collude and don't compete, this can lower down the quality and service and the consumers paying more than they should. This is an unlawful practice and can stop consumers from getting more options on goods and services with better quality and better prices. That's why the Competition Protection and Monopoly Prevention Law was issued to regulate the freedom of practicing any economic activities and stabilize the principles of the market rules and freedom of pricing in such manner that the same shall not restrict competition, prevent the same or be negatively affected, thereby to benefit consumers, businesses and the national economy. Breaching any of the law's clauses could lead to prison sentences and fines up to 100,000 Omani Rials. The punishment can also include paying 10% of the total annual sales of the products subject of the violation as well as damage to the business's reputation. Help us in preventing anti-competitive activities by contacting the following numbers. And to know more about the law and the prohibited activities, please visit our website, www.cmc.om. Competition Protection and Monopoly Prevention Center. Welcome back to the news. A training workshop on ideal registration for death certification for the hospital physicians and health management information staff commenced this morning at Muscat Holiday Hotel under the auspices of His Excellency Dr. Sultan bin Yarub al Saidi, advisor of the Ministry of Health for Health Affairs. With presence of His Excellency Dr. Ali bin Talib al Hanai, Ministry of Health Under Secretary for Planning Affairs, more details on the following report. This four day training workshop organized by the Minister of Health, represented by the Data and Statistics Department and Health Data Recording and Management Department, in the Directorate General of Planning and Studies in cooperation with the World Health Organization, is aimed at improving quality of information on the cause of death information, thereby issuing quality certificate through medical certified training and support, training the health workers in completing the medical certificate certificates according to the international standards. Department of uh, Planning and Studies uh, in Ministry of Health conducted a workshop in uh, cause of death to train them how to write and uh, report cause of death in the hospitals and uh, health institutions. All these uh, efforts will help uh, the ministry to raise the quality of uh, mortality statistics the workshop also intended to enhance the health management information staff capacity and expertise to support continued evaluation and improvement in the course of death reporting, as well as identifying opportunities and challenges to improve quality of registration data. A number of Minister of Health Directors uh, Generals and more than 50 medical staff from the Minister of Health Hospitals, the Sultan Qaboos University Hospital and private hospitals, along with 20 health management information Information staff are attending the workshop. The Ministry of Tourism organized a work session on crisis management on tourism for the sector's partners to deal with accidents that may face the tourists in the Sultanate. The session was also included by introducing the tourism sector in the Sultanate and programs of crisis management of the Ministry of Tourism its content and mechanism of evaluating dangers and limiting their effects. A 
a four-day course for healthcare professionals to enhance their skills in the specificities of war injuries commenced today. More details in the following report by Abdullah bin Ahmed al -Rubai. With the aim of introducing Omani healthcare professionals to the realities of conflict scenarios to help them enhance their skills in the specificities of four injuries caused by high energy bullets and explosive devices, more than 80 medical staff consisting of surgeons, accident emergency doctors, general and specialized nurses, and paramedics representing various healthcare institutions of the Minister of Health, Royal Oman Police, Armed Force, Ambulance Services, and and civil defense staff are attending this fairly unique field of traumatology. We are here discussing about uh, how to best treat patients injured by bullets, bombs or mines, so the effect of a conflict, which may appear strange. We are in a very peaceful country, but as a matter of emergency preparedness for physicians and nurses may be assigned in the near future to uh, humanitarian missions to help human beings in neighboring countries affected by conflict, this we hope will be helpful for them. War Wound Surgeries uh, workshop organized by the International Committee of Red Cross with cooperation with the Ministry of Health. It came in the effort of the Ministry in preparation the surgeon and the nurses working in, the, in this field to deal with the casualties of disaster with this kind of injuries and uh, providing them with the skills and experience to deal with, with this sort of injuries. The third war surgery course organized by ICRC in collaboration with the Minister of Health and presented by ICRC war surgeons experts will assist in building national capacity in response to various disasters, specifically war wounded victims, in line with the Sultanate's approach to provide humanitarian assistance to victims of armed conflict. Abdullah bin Ahmed al Rubai, Sultanate of Oman Television, Masqat. Al Ma'mur Souq in the Wilaya of Bahla in the Governorate of Zakhiliya is opened with a new look after 20 years of absence. Our reporter Saleh bin Khalfan al Rahbi visited the Souq and made this report. After almost 20 years since its last operation, Al Ma'mur Souq in the Wilaya of Bahla in the Governorate of Zakhiliya is back into action once again. This newly renovated market opens on Saturdays every week when it witnesses an active trading. Souk is back in the histories. In fact, it's Ma'mur. It's, it was a very famous um, uh, village of its souk. The souk of Ma'mur, it is back, as you said, it's 20 years or more than 20 years back. And right now, because of the modern life, that, uh, that, that souk is stop the youth or the new, the new generation of Mahmoud they are thinking of reviving this souk by bringing the, uh, some modern aspects to it for example if you see the the, the structures of this souk it looks like as um, domes of the mosque is coming from it and it is using some good uh, modern and good uh, aspect on it on every saturday morning Consumers from the village of Al-Ma'mur and the adjacent villages in the Wilaya of Bahla flock to the souk where various types of items are sold, such as livestock, fruits and vegetables, handicrafts, besides a variety of local merchandise. It helped, uh, you know, the residents or, or people living in, in Al-Ma'mur and even in the surrounding uh, villages, basically, you know, to, to start uh, selling and marketing some of their uh, goods and items. Uh, at the same time, you know, you find here everything almost from food items, from, uh, you know, grocery items, uh, fruits, vegetables, uh, goods, meats, and so on. So it's, it's a great opportunity for everybody, whether it's the young, uh, basically the young generations or even the old uh, generations. The market here is also considered a social platform for the visitors and an opportunity for the locals to exchange news and revive the historical bonds of the village. The active auction at this souk represents a well-established tradition among the Omani society. From Al Ma'mur Souq in the Wilaya of Bahla, Saleh Bakalfan Rahbi, Al Dakhiliya. Governor it. The 8th Arroya Economic Forum discussed the partnership draft law prepared by the government and proposals of private sector towards it. 
The forum was presided over by His Excellency Dr. Ali bin Masoud al-Sinedi, Minister of Commerce and Industry. More details in the following report by Saleh bin Khalfan al-Rahbi. Under the theme, Deepening the Paths of Partnership between the Two Sectors, the 8th Arroya Economic Forum discussed the draft law on partnership prepared by the government and the proposals of the private sector. The forum also focused on the specific roles required of the government, the private sector and the reality of government companies. The PPP or uh, public-private uh, partnership is very important issues. It creates uh, a, a harmony between the government and the private sector. Uh, uh, we, as a Ministry of Housing, we started to uh, go along with this uh, issue and uh, start this kind of uh, partnership with the private sector in different uh, sectors. One of them uh, is the real estate. The forum sheds light on ways of private sector participation in investment opportunities projects, the challenges of the private sector in this field, as well as the opportunities available to Oman enterprises, especially SMEs, which are available at ministries and government companies in many fields, including real estate, tourism, petrochemical industries, and recycling industry. Today, uh, more developed countries are uh, using this PPP strategies to uh, support their new project, new development, new economic development. Because of uh, sometimes lack of funding, this is a way uh, that you will be funding project through uh, involving the private sector, uh, through involving uh, private funding uh, with the regulatory uh, environment should be uh, clear and uh, made easy for those new investors who are willing to uh, partner up with the government in uh, developing the infrastructure and in, in developing major projects in, in, in the country. The forum aims to bring together all parties and come up with solutions that eliminate any challenges to activate the ambitious plans of the Omani economy, review and discuss ways to deepen and activate the partnership to work together towards achieving medium and long-term development visions and define roles and ways of partnership between the two sectors. For the Sultanate of Oman Television, Saleh Mokhalfan al-Rahbi, Muscat. The Oman Center for Traditional Music launched on its 35th anniversary a number of postage stamps. The new stamps were designed in cooperation with Oman Post using augmented reality to depict various traditional music dances and instruments such as Al-Azi and Ar-Rawah dances as well as Al-Kasr and Al-Rahmani drums. The Oman Center for Traditional Music aims at reaching a wider audience across the globe as letters reach various countries around the world. Now for the general weather forecast around the Sultanate. Clear skies will prevail over most of the governorates with chances of dust raising winds over the open and desert areas in the governorate of Buremi, Dahira, South Sharqiyah and Wusta. Winds will be northwesterly light to moderate. Seas will be slight with a maximum wave height of 1.25 meters.
This is the Sultanate of Oman television. Before we end tonight's news bulletin, here are the main points once again. The International Labour Organization praises the continuous role played by the General Federation of Oman Trade Unions in protecting the manpower rights. The 10th Oil Spill Response Officers Regional Meeting discusses national emergency plans to deal with oil and chemical pollution accidents. And more than 50 organizations from public and private sectors provide training and job opportunities for Omani graduate students. With that, we come to the end of tonight's news bulletin from all of us here at the newsroom and the studios. Thank you for watching and have a great night.